you may be surprised to know that those TIE Fighters were in fact CGI. I got the TIE Fighter 3D models from the classic video co-pilot Starpack from all the way back in 2016, when I was like 13 or 14, or both. They're free, the link will be in the description. Anyway, for the first shot I literally just animated the tie in a straight line and gave it a bit of rotation. To move it around, hit G. To rotate, use R. And to add a keyframe, hit I. To light the tie, I just use a simple sky texture. Increasing the ozone makes the sky more blue. I then just match the sky texture sun with the real sun in my scene. Make the HDRI transparent so it doesn't show up in your render and enable motion blur. That's it. For the shot where I actually stopped the ship, I just once again animated it in a straight line, then had it stop when I held my hand up. I then animated it backwards a tiny bit and had it tilt back to make it look as if the ship was being pulled backwards with the force. And yes, the animation looks very rough at the moment and disgusting, but to make it better I used glorious noise modifiers. Go to the animation tab and change from the dope sheet to the graph editor and add noise modifiers to each axis to smooth out the jerkiness of your animation and add extra movement. Mess around with the scale and the strength to make it appear as if the tie is trying to get away, but is also being pulled backwards. Don't forget to restrict the frame range of each noise modifier to only start on the frame that the ship is being pulled. For these shots here, I just use noise modifiers to add that push and pull movement. Now to actually tear the wing off the TIE Fighter, we have to make the wing its own object. To do that, I went into edit mode. I held Z to go into the wireframe mode. This way I can select all the vertices of my mesh and not just the ones that are facing us. I selected the wing and it hit P, then separate by selection. Go back to object mode and you now have two separate objects. Now just animate the wing to fly off screen. For the smash shot here, I pretty much just followed CG Geek's destruction tutorial. But basically, I added a particle simulator to the wing and the wing of the other tie. I then added an explode modifier to each. I then added a force to blast the pieces into the direction from which the wing came. To have the particles explode quickly, I started the force strength off really large, then after a few frames, I keyframed it back down to something smaller. It is shots like this why I love Blender, because like, Back in the olden days, like literally six months ago, back when I was just compositing, I would have literally had like a picture of the TIE Fighter wing and it would just spin into the other one. And then I would have got like a massive aerial explosion and just covered up the entire TIE Fighter. And I would have, I would have called it a day and I would have been like, yeah, this is art. But now with Blender, you know, I can actually simulate all the destruction and it, it's beautiful. For the final crash shot, I just used an explosion asset from Action VFX. Then after a bunch of sound design, it blended it all together and um, turned out pretty cool, I think. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>